it's uh, clear that uh, in response to COVID-19 crisis, we will have to put all our muscle behind our recovery efforts. This afternoon, I therefore held a video conference uh, under the European Battery Alliance with the two clear objectives. Uh, together with the high-level representatives uh, from industry, I wanted to assess the impact uh, of the corona crisis on uh, the battery ecosystem. And I also wanted to discuss the ways uh, the EU Battery Alliance can contribute to our recovery. Vice President of the European Investment Bank, uh, Mr. Andrew McDowell, also participated in uh, this uh, virtual meeting. He will share his uh, thoughts with you in a, in a moment, but already now I really would like to thank him and EIB for this uh, strong support uh, we feel throughout uh, the years of uh, uh, working together on European Battery Alliance. I have to say that uh, I was uh, very pleased to see that uh, despite the pandemic, the EU Battery Alliance uh, remained on track in its uh, crucial work. And I think that uh, we can clearly declare after this meeting that uh, this ecosystem is healthy and it's committed uh, to this deep transformation and modernization of the European economy. In addition, the participants have expressed a strong appetite for accelerating uh, projects along the value chains with the objective of creating 1 million jobs in European battery ecosystem worth of 210 billion euros uh, within the next two and a half years. The corona crisis has uh, further highlighted the importance of the main philosophy behind the European Battery Alliance. That is the, the need to bolster Europe's resilience and strategic uh, autonomy in critical industrial sectors and in key game-changing technologies. Accelerating uh, our work, therefore, makes uh, uh, perfect uh, sense. It's needed, and uh, with the results of this alliance over the last two years, it's also proven that it's possible. We have a lot to build on, and I just would like to give you three uh, examples. First, electric cars are increasingly going mainstream in Europe, and the consumer uptake is on the rise, while major car manufacturers are announcing a broader portfolio of the electric uh, vehicle models amounting to over 210 by 2021. So it means that 65% of uh, cars on uh, the European markets are actually the European brands. Second, we are making significant uh, progress in becoming self-sufficient in the lithium industry. Four sustainable mining projects uh, totaling of uh, 2 billion uh, euros of investments are underway here in Europe and are set to meet up to 80% of Europe's lithium needs in the battery sector already by 2025, thus boosting our strategic autonomy. Third, Europe has seen the most rapid growth of any region in plant battery production capacity. It is set to reach global share of more than 14% by 2024, overtaking the United States and Asia, excluding China. The Commission will continue to mobilize all the industrial actors, member states and uh, the European Investment Bank to not only implement the ongoing investment, but also to shift things into the higher gear. And again, let me give you three examples. First, leveraging investment. Five months ago, we authorized the first important project of the common European interest led by France. The second, uh, IPSE led by Germany, is uh, being prepared with a view to being notified and subsequently assessed and approved still this year. In addition, there are 10 innovation-driven projects spanning 29 regions under the smart specialization platform with a possible support from the European structural funds. And there, and there is still some 7.6 billion euros available. Second, establishing a fit for future regulatory framework for batteries. To promote our competitive edge in sustainability, performance and safety, as well as to 
implement the circular economy agenda for all batteries uh, produced or sold in Europe. And here we are set to table the proposal by October, aiming for adoption by 2022 latest, but I was listening very carefully to the representatives of the industries to, to, who ask us to deliver so, as soon as possible. And uh, this would be, of course, my, name, my goal to achieve with our member states and uh, the European uh, Parliament. But we definitely want uh, to have this proposal approved uh, in time for expected search in uh, electric vehicles production in 2023. And the third example, building our raw materials resilience as part of the Europe's strategic autonomy. Together with uh, my colleague and a very good friend, Commissioner uh, Breton, we will table an action plan to address the security and sustainability uh, challenge of raw materials beyond lithium. In addition, modeled on the EU battery, uh, alliance, we will set up a dedicated uh, alliance aimed at removing bottlenecks in the critical raw material supply chains for the EU industrial ecosystems. Why this is needed? It's needed for renewable energy, e-mobility, defense, and space. The European Union is uh, expected to need up uh, to 18, 18 times more lithium and five times more cobalt in 2030 compared to its current supply. Before wrapping up, I want to thank all CEOs, Vice President McDowell, as well as EIT, Inno Energy, presented today's video conference for their strong uh, commitment. And uh, also for our common uh, wish to make sure that uh, we will take this uh, further. And uh, I proposed uh, that together with uh, Mr. Diego Pavia, the head of Inner Energy, we will convene the preparatory meetings in coming weeks and months and organize the ministerial uh, rendezvous later this year. So my last sentence would be to underline how positive I am that the EU Battery Alliance will help us to rebound stronger and uh, more resilient here in Europe. Thank you. Many thanks, Vice President Shekcevic. Now I would like to give the floor to Vice President McDowell.